Hello Colors, my name is Teal and welcome back to Night in the Woods. Last episode we had a really weird dream where we met a really big cat and I don't really know what the meaning of that was. Actually all the dreams of may have like a deep meaning and I don't know where it's leading to everything but we'll see I guess. Anyway, let's go! Okay, Selmers. There you are, Selmers, number one poet. Hey, May, you all right? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah, long week is all. You want to hear a poem to cheer you up? Of course, sure. Life goes on, it feels so long, but I report life is too short. Wow, haha, <laughs> here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. <laughs> Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay! Chazokov's up there again. Yay! He ever like dropped that telescope? Oh no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He's hot as hell. <laughs> you talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in this Selmers. Huh? They do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. I agree. Alright, get out, Mr. Get out my yard. Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. You're so cool. So cool, man. All right, let's go visit Mr. Chazukov. Mr. Chazukov, mate. Mr. Chazukov, you look at a, a bit worse for a wear, wear today, mate. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. Will do. Here to see some stars. You know it. Come have a look. She didn't react to being blinded. She always reacted to that. Okay. Hey. There you go. Gotcha. Oh, which one is this? Adina Astra. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake. How she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina's stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth, where her stars were no longer over her head. And how she was never seen again? Yep, yeah, whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Yeah, I mean, she probably died. <laughs> no, disappearing isn't the same as dying. Yeah, maybe it's not bad. She probably went somewhere else completely and did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my, yeah, so whatever. Great, and next one. Gotcha! I think I got one? Let us see. Cole the Mountaineer. Cole! Knew a guy named Cole once? That's close. It is. So what's up with this guy? Cole was from a flatland. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Yeah, not really. Not really, to be honest. I like home. I like my neighborhood. 
I like the bad diner food. It is not good. But it's good bad. Like a story a, a your friend wrote. And gave you to read. I like the disco fries. So what happened to Paul? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds. And now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. Oof, that's all for, to the, for the day. That was nice. Pretty sweet, the stars, I mean. I am in agreement. I like the Adina story, but Cole was kind of boring. Alright, next step, visit Angus, or no, we have to visit our mother and pastor, oh, and of course, Bruce, let's find him, yo bro, what's up, hey, can you do me a favor, sure, can you tell pastor Kate something for me, sure, but don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor after all. Folks need her. Why am I telling her this? Are you leaving? Yep. Gonna hop a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again, never gonna lift a hand to no man again, sit on my daughter's front porch, watch my grandbabies play in the yard, they'll all be there, gonna get off that train, my kids are gonna be there, they'll have a sign they made, nothing fancy, poster board and markers, welcome home then, and I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce, yep yep, thanks for talking to me, it was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, mate. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, mate. No. Why is Bruce leaving? This place has no sense anymore. I'm gonna jump up the cliff. The, the game won't let me. Okay, enough drama. Let's go visit Pastor. Alright. Yo, mom. Hey, hon. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, Ron. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on, Sunday. It's full then. I bet it is. Sorry, you have to work because we have money problems. Maeve, I've always had a job. This is just another, another one. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mummers. See ya, daughters. Let's see what Pastor has to say. What the hell? What is going on here? Because there will be children here. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region. You have to know this place never be full again. We have the space and we have people who need space. We have resources and we have poverty. And not in some far off place or some big city. Right here, right across the street. Katie, it's our number one job right now. To bring businesses into town. Businesses mean jobs, and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having, having a half-dead church stacked full of bumps. Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Ah, 
tough times in the church. Ah, stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. What's this all about, Bruce? It was. Is. Whatever, it's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, mate? Uh, uh, sounds serious, I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately? I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. What? It was a dream. I don't think it was a dream. Of course it was a dream. But God talks to us that way, right? Sure. Can you tell me about it? I was in this desert. It was like the shore. Desert. As far as I could see. Where like all that was left of the world was bits of wood and sand. I was wandering through it but I was like drawn to something. And I came up over this... What do you call a hill made of sand? A dune? A dune. Yeah, a dune. And there was God. Just sitting there. Up on another hill. Or a dune, whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. Seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They like didn't care. They were kind of a jerk. <laughs> they like didn't care. They didn't care if you were there. No, I mean they didn't care. In general. They went on and on about how annoyed they were that people kept coming to them with questions and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing. And it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about how nothing matters. How nothing matters. Like the universe is ending. Ending. And everything is being forgotten. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? Yes. No. Oh, I've got friends. Come on. What would... She should answer that, I don't know. Do you feel lonely? Uh, I guess. I had this prob problem when I was in high school and I did something really bad. You probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, I figured. Well, since then, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I guess. I don't think I believe in God anymore. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't believe in him. If you want the truth, I think everyone doesn't believe in God for at least a few minutes a day. Hmm. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a God? Like literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. oh on my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But. But you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure. It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe. It's something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, mate. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how, how, how much I believe that week. But who would that help but you're a pastor and you can't tell me whether or not God is up there whether anyone is watching anyone who gives a shit no but then what is the point of you I have to go okay wow that was harsh harsh mate now she is having the worst day as a pastor. Anyway, let's go. Hey, it's the violin guy. What's up, man? Still up here? I mean, I left and went to work and so forth since, since we met. Hmm. Is that a fiddle? It's a violin. That's like the same thing, right? 
It's a violin, I assure you. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town, in the abandoned building by the click clack. They had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. I just thought it was an interesting coincidence. Small town. For sure it is. Hey. It's Mr. Rat. Hey kid, what you up to? Hey adult. Nothing. Sounds good. Was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Sounds good, actually. Oh, good, good, good. Let's go. Totally, let's. Wow, been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. Got the longest night likes from last year still up. Haha, <laughs> someone on my street does that too. We got pumpkins last year and we left them out too long and they like liquefied. <laughs> Gross. Oh yeah, I remember that happened with ours. Gross. Oh really? I'm sorry. Haha, <laughs> it's cool. Gross is fine. I've seen like a time-lapse video of when a cor corpse decays and like everything liquefies. We're all goo deep down. Yep. Okay, so like a cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks. I like that a lot. Okay. Uh, cool, sorry. I brought a little metal dude. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, kid. What the hell? I come out here at night sometimes and fall asleep between the tracks. That sounds dangerous. I feel excited and I can sleep. You ever have that where you're so excited you go to sleep? Coffee makes me sleepy. I have stress dreams if I'm too keyed up. Let's go with this one. I don't remember my dreams. Sometimes I fall asleep for like 5 minutes, but sometimes it's for like an hour. That's some risky business there. Oh god. Wow. Nice experience. Extreme! <laughs> I have weird thoughts. Like sometimes I want to go sleep in the woods or in the basement of an abandoned house during the day and only come out at night and be like a monster and like beautiful I know the feeling those are, are like really attainable dreams oh haha I'm not beautiful oh you're fine no one your age likes how they look I'm objectively gross way less gross than I was do you think? guaranteed another train Whoa, double train. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Whoa! Yay! Your little metal guy is all... Wow. He represents the human soul. This is important art. Haha. <laughs> well, I gotta get rolling. Okay, okay, okay. Let's roll. I'm going to end it here, guys. A lot of adventures with the random people of the village but yeah it was kind of cool uh, just sharing every day with all those little daily friends anyway if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next episode colors bye bye